Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to set up custom Inkscape and Ink Stitch shortcuts. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. So why would customizing shortcuts even be helpful? Why can't you go to the well, top? As one of you pointed out in one of the comments, going through extensions, ink stitch, params, or visualize export simulator, it's kind of a lot of work to go mm -hmm. through all of those menu options to get what you need versus just hitting a simple combination of keys to get right there quickly. So this is just a way to speed up the process. This will make our workflow a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit faster, more efficient. So this is also helpful in that Going through this process will show you what shortcuts are already present in mm -hmm. Inkscape and InkStitch. To get your shortcuts menu, you just go to Preferences. Mm -hmm. In Preferences, you can go to... Interface. Interface. Drop down the arrow. And then Keyboard Shortcuts. So this is really cool. It lists out already all of the shortcuts that exist for Inkscape. And then if you wanted to add your custom shortcuts, like we do, you can see where you would find it normally. So there's really none listed for, for Inkscape stuff. So there'd be like a shortcut for params that would list it right here if there was one that existed in the uh, default, but there isn't one. So we have to go through selecting through this top menu, which is time consuming. So instead of that, you we're gonna go, go to ahead search. Yeah, we can search params in here. And you can see right here, it shows up in our extensions. To add the shortcut, you just wanna highlight it here and then under the shortcut column, click there and you'll see new accelerator. So it's waiting for you to enter in what shortcut you wanna use. So in our case, I think we're gonna use shift control P for params. So we're just gonna press that and you can see it lists it now. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. So now, if we go ahead and close this, we can draw a little embroidery project there, and then now we're gonna hit Shift Control P, and just like that, our params is brought up. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. So what else do you wanna do? Um, the simulator. Yes, that's a good one. So let's go ahead. We use that a lot. Simulator, realistic preview. So we'll click that. Accelerator, shift command S, or shift control S. Yeah. Simulator. There it is. And then what else? Mm. Anything else? Lettering? Yeah. Shift control L for lettering. All right, so now we wanted to add lettering, shift control L. It'll bring up our lettering GUI. This is awesome. This is gonna be so much faster yeah. now. Yeah. Awesome, okay, and then we wanted to simulate this, shift control S. Very neat. Oh my God, that's so cool. This is gonna save so much time. Awesome. So really want to thank the person that brought this to our attention. They were looking for a way to update Inkscape and Inkstitch shortcuts, which caused us to do a little research mm -hmm. and figure out how to do this for ourselves. And honestly, it's, it's a very good uh, tip uh, to use. So we're very thankful. Mm -hmm. Keep commenting. Yeah, thank you. We need help. We're not <laughs> professionals. So thank you very much for your help. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get mine every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.